Less than a week after what would have been the 50th anniversary of Roe v. Wade, hundreds of people packing the state capitol today where the Vermont Right to Life Committee held a rally in honor of the Supreme Court overturning the landmark case. NBC5's Stephen Biddix takes us there. From City Hall to the State House steps, Vermont Right to Life hosting an array of events in Montpelier on Saturday to celebrate the overturning of Roe v. Wade one final time. The actual date was January 22nd, so as close to that date as possible we have our rally. And now we don't need to anymore. Uh, Roe v. Wade is gone. That doesn't mean abortion is over. Our work is really beginning. The march comes just one week after Planned Parenthood of Northern New England commemorated what would have been the 50th anniversary of Roe v. Wade by making abortion care kits. Throughout the state we are creating about 300 abortion care baskets for our patients so that they can feel love and support after their care. This as Vermonters approved Article 22 in November, which codifies a woman's right to bodily autonomy in the state's constitution. Meanwhile, back in Montpelier, supporters of Vermont Right to Life say they're passionate about letting women know all their options. Their work includes bringing in the younger generation. The young people do care about it. Their voices are pretty stifled here in Vermont. Doesn't seem they're allowed to speak freely, but in their hearts, a lot of young people are pro-life, and that's the next generation. We're passing the baton on to them. One of the leaders of that next generation is Savannah Craven. People think that we've just gone silent, that we've disappeared, but pro-lifers are still out here, and no matter what uh, the Constitution decides in Vermont, we are going to continue to fight until every single life is protected. Craven became involved in the fight for life after watching a... All right, that was Stephen Biddix reporting. NBC5 News did reach out to Planned Parenthood of Northern New England to get their thoughts on today's rally, but we did not hear back.